Hello, hello everybody. Give me one second. Uh, un momento, por favor. How are we doing today? Me? I'm having a blast. Guys, we have an exciting episode today because today we're playing NBA 2K uh, something. It doesn't really matter which one we're playing. They're all the same game anyways, but what does matter is the little history lesson that I have for you all here today. Now, let me ask you let me ask you a question. Who is the greatest basketball player of all time? Now for you uh, for you younglings out there that are that are playing Fortnite, maybe you're naive and you say, uh, I don't know, LeBron James, he's pretty good. He's probably the best player out there. And eh, wrong. You're wrong. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you're a little more of a veteran, vet, a vetted uh, NBA watcher, if you will. And you go, uh, Michael Stop Jordan, it. he's probably the greatest of all time. I was, I was gonna get there, Bugs Bunny. Um, that's a good guess. That's probably the closest guess uh, that we have here today. But no, it is, it is not the Space Jam crew. I'll get to, I'll get to who the greatest player of all time is in a minute. Now let me ask you, who's the greatest team? In the NBA, in NBA history, some of you might say it's the, it's the 90s, it's the 90s Bulls. You'd be, you'd be mistaken, I'm sorry. Some of you might say uh, the Gold State Warriors, either with Stephen Curry making all those points, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, getting a 100-point game. If you think that, you're an idiot. I'm sorry, I apologize. Now, now again, the Space Jam crew, that's... <laughs> That's, that's a pretty good guess. Space Jam 2 might be, they might be the number two team in NBA history, I gotta say, but no. The real best team was the 2020 Colin Farrell Bulls. Yeah, that's right. Colin Farrell, the actor, in an unprecedented event, they hired Colin Farrell, an Irish actor, to be the coach, the coach for the 2020 Bulls. And with it, he hired a crackpot team with some basketball players. And you know what? They ended up being some of the greatest of all time. Now, fortunately, these players are in 2K uh, at the moment, which is pretty nice. So they're, they're going to let us simulate kind of what happened that year with this team. And I'm, I'm going to be playing it, and it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be 100% accurate to what happened, but it's going to be pretty damn close, okay? This is, now, this is the first game against the Orlando Magic. They're an okay I don't know anything about the Orlando Magic. And there's a reason nobody knows about the Orlando Magic. Because they suck compared to the Bulls, okay? There's no... There's no... These guys won't be remembered in history. They're forgotten. They're, they're like a speck on the map, maybe. Maybe they're not even on the map. They've just got... The Bulls just washed over them. With all their prowess. And technique. I don't even know who that guy is. I don't even know who that guy is. Zach Levine? Who? They're not even showing the right people. That's how confused they are. <laughs> Look at shit. <laughs> Why did they make them look so stupid? Who are these people? Where's the AT? Oh, there's, <laughs> there's one of them back there with his afro. You can see him. Now, that guy's known as Shy Guy. He's a shy guy. We only got one of my guys out there. The coach is Colin Farrell's making the wrong play right off the bat. He's making the wrong play right off the bat. No, this is the wrong guy. These are none of my guys. Look, look here, watch these guys suck. So I guess this is what happened in the first game where they had the wrong guys out there. And, and it just, you know, it went like normal. It went how the Bulls normally go. See, that guy got the score. Now, that doesn't happen often. Now, it was at this moment that Colin Farrell called a timeout. Unprecedented. Nobody times out in the first few seconds of the game. Nobody does that. Ooh. No, no. Don't end the timeout. All my guys aren't here. I think the game glitched. No, no, no. Timeout again. Timeout again. We're using all of our timeouts on this one. 
I how did I open that menu? No! <laughs> Time out again! We're timing out again! You get replaced by none of these guys. Huh. Alright, never mind. Game start. Colin Farrell's ready now. He's ready to start coaching. Why don't, why don't you just pass that right back? There we go. And... What? <laughs> I'm not in the right mode. This is the wrong mode. There we go. Now, these are the right guys. Who do I go against? Let's go against the Lakers. Since they, they got the Lakers to win. That guy... Th those aren't even... That guy's got a 76. That's terrible. That's a terrible... Now, we're going to pretend that we're playing season mode because clearly 2K20 didn't want to work. There we go. There we go. There's my boys. Now, that I'm pretty sure that's LeBron somebody. LeBron James, I think. He's, uh, he's pretty good. Some people say he's pretty good. But he's not great. He's not one of the greats. Now, Chad Richmond chose the number 99. Because it's the highest number you could choose, and he likes having the highest number. He, he thinks it makes him feel special. Now that, that guy is Hugh Mann. Uh, rumor has it that he was genetically engineered for the sole purpose to play basketball. And there you go. He, he's a bit, of a, a bit of a monster. A bit of a monster. Now this guy, this is Rodrigo Rodriguez. He's number one for a reason because he just might be the best basketball player of all time. And by just might be, I mean it's not even disputed. It's guaranteed he's the best basketball player of all time. See that? He can just do that. He just stole that guy's ball. He didn't even see it coming. Boom. He already got five points. Already five points. That was terrible. Now this guy, this is Shy Guy, we saw him early. Now he's really tiny for a basketball player, I think he's like 5'5", five five. but he can do this. He can just do that. Wow, that LeBron James guy. He tries too hard. Why doesn't he just do this? Why can't he just do that? Yeah, the longer you hold the ball, you know, the less time you have to be scoring. That's kind of, that's my team strategy. Oh! Oh, that got fouled. That's probably, that was probably the best thing that could have happened to them if they fouled me. There we go. You man makes these easy. His brain right now is calculating how to make this shot precisely. Now watch this. In there. In there. He calculated that. Now he might be a cyborg. We're not entirely sure if he's if he's just a genetically engineered human or if he's some kind of like cyborg machine. <laughs> oh, here goes Shy Guy. Here he goes. Whoa! He he killed him! He killed him! Did you see that? Okay, no, he's good. And there he goes again. Another one. Another one. He makes it look easy. He makes it look easy. <laughs> now, John Doe is a bit of a ninja. You see how he came in there all secret like? And the guy didn't even realize the ball was gone. He just he just kept kept dribbling it. Because he thought the ball was still there. Uh-oh. Oh my god, no! That was scary! What was it? He like glitched out. That wasn't human. Who? Oh! LeBron James. That's messed up. And just for that, I'm getting three. Just for that. Just for that, LeBron James. Just for that. Just for that, I'm getting three. Nobody, nobody blocks Rodrigo Rodriguez. Uh-oh, here he goes again, doing what he do, does best. What? I He just dropped the ball. I don't know if that was a foul. <laughs> I think Hugh Man just kind of glitched. 
Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit clunky at night.